Hello everybody! Does your laptop get too hot or shuts down while you're playing a game or doing other resource-intensive work? It is probably one of the most widespread issues about laptops. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean your laptop from dust and do it in a very easy and safe way. Here we go! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. If a laptop becomes very hot or shuts off by itself when you least expect it or at the most inappropriate moment, while its cooling fan is emitting a loud buzzing noise, much louder than usual, then the most likely cause of the problem is overheating. Usually it happens because the laptop has collected too much dust inside it, and on a hot summer day like this, dust becoming a problem. To clean things up, here is what you need. A Phillips screwdriver, cotton swabs or pocket tissues to clean surfaces from dust. A clean and dry level surface where all the cleaning operations will be performed. Also, you use a small brush for removing dust and other dirt you may find inside if you like. First of all, make sure you have powered your laptop off. It should never be in a sleeping or hibernation mode while you are cleaning it. Disconnect the AC adapter and take out the battery if it's possible for your model. The actual steps to remove the excess panel as well as the shape of this panel may differ depending on a specific model. For example, some laptops have to be completely taken apart for cleaning. I will show you how to do it with the example of Acer Aspire 5100, which I have available here in this studio. But generally speaking, you will need to remove all covers from the underside of the laptop. In my case, one of the covers reveals the hard disk, so I remove it. Opening the other cover, we can see the system memory, RAM, Wi-Fi model and the cooling system for the central processor, chipset and the graphics adapter. After the bottom of the laptop is removed, we can go on to clean the cooling fan at heat sinks. Most present-day laptops have a cooling system similar to what we can see now. This kind of system makes use of copper pipes that connect the graphics chip and the CPU with a heat sink and cooling fan. In order to clean the cooling system clogged with dust, you can start with cotton swabs and then proceed with a, with a brush or paintbrush. Be careful! Cooling pipes that hits in things can be bent easily, so work cautiously. Cotton swabs and brushes are also good for cleaning the fan itself. Some laptop models have several fans and heat sinks. If that's your case, repeat the same cleaning steps for each one.
After you have finished with cleaning the fans and heat sinks, it's a good idea to blow away the dust from all other parts of the laptop that are now open. Sometimes you may need to replace the thermal paste applied onto the CPU and graphics adapter. To do it, dismantle the cooling system and remove the heat sink from the motherboard. However, it is not always possible to go as far as removing only the back panel. In my case, I can only remove one heatsink, responsible for cooling the central processor and the chipset. In order to dismantle the other heatsink and clean the laptop from dust completely, I will have to take out the motherboard as well. It means the back and upper panels have to be taken away. So I take out all screws and remove everything that may get in the way when taking the laptop apart. Remember that in some laptop models, screws can be hidden under stickers or rubber feet. In some cases, you can even find screws on side panels of the laptop body. After all the screws have been taken out, remove the panel. Do it very gently. If you feel something is holding the panel in place, check for screws you may have missed. In order to remove the laptop's front panel cover, you need to disconnect and take out the keyboard. Sometimes the display has to be disconnected too.
thoroughly but carefully. Take away the remains of all the thermal paste from the CPU or the graphics adapter. Then apply some new paste. Do it very carefully and use only a little bit of paste. Remember that when you put the heatsink onto it and press, the paste will be spread all over the chip surface.
after cleaning, put everything back together and get all screws to their proper places. If you had to remove screws hidden under rubber feet, the feet must have been torn off in the process, so now you have to use some glue to put them back. If this is the case with your laptop, it is the part you should never miss. For laptops, having ventilation openings in the underside, the feet, the feet are a must-have. They help to create a clearance between the laptop body and the surface it is standing on, and it makes the air intake for the cooling system. After all those steps, put the battery into its proper slot, plug in the power supply and check how the laptop works. Most likely, you will notice that the laptop has become not so noisy and hot as before. And that is all for now. You are welcome to watch another video on this channel about replacing the hard disk and system memory in a laptop. You can find the link in the description. And now hit the like button below and subscribe to Hetman Software channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!